You've read the title, this is not a drill, the cancelled Halo Megablocks video game, Project Hagar, is downloadable and playable right now. Download at your own risk, you know this is just a file online, but this news actually dropped from Mint Blitz. I've known about a playable copy of this for a long time, and for anyone that needs the quick lore rundown, this is a just a prototype that was tested. 343 have tested many different prototypes over the years. I know that people at 343 and Mega are like really excited about this game and have always wanted it to be released. Um, but you know, this is just a playable demo online, and I can't play it because I'm a Mac user and Mac users suck, but I've got a load of footage that I've compiled together from a ton of different content creators, so big shout out. There's links to all of the raw footage down below. Again, Mint Blitz was the one to drop this information. So you can see the loading screen. Again, this is all a demo, and in the original build, they actually had this military man um, instead of Master Chief, but you can see all the vehicles were actually looking pretty good from the start, like even the ghost. Like, it's so crazy to me to see actual Mega Block sets as the, like, look at the VTOL there. Like, it's insane that these are real Mega Block sets and they are just hanging around in this game. So we're gonna skim through the footage real quick and I put out a little plea to the community. If anyone can catch a 4K footage of this game and upload it as an unlisted video, link me on Instagram at Motion Domain. I would love to release to the community a full raw uncut gameplay of like everything available just so everyone can really see what there is to actually play on this game and again you can download it right now but uh, it, it requires a little bit of a, a technical know-how. I'm going to copy Mint Blitz instructions down below. Basically, you have to download a um, Xbox 360 emulator kind of thing and then play it off that. So uh, you can see, I don't know if this is a, off the exact playable copy because this is just um, from one of the videos, I think, from General Heed. General Heed and I have had a couple of conversations in real life about bringing this to fruition. I even had a conversation with a member of 343, an employee at 343, at 343 Industries last year and they were saying that they would love to get Project Hagar maybe even implemented into the Master Chief Collection but it is again just a demo and a little bit more difficult than that. So you can just see immediately how gorgeous this game is. Like I love the art style and I love that it kind of stays true to Mega Bloks really. It's those vibrant colors and everything just feels like it is literally Mega Bloks in the game. Like they've done a really good job. It's kind of akin to like Lego Star Wars like uh, even Mint Blitz actually called them Legos in the video, which made me unsubscribe immediately. But uh, no, it's cool. Like, look, we've got a drop uh, bubble shield there. Like, it's clearly based on Halo 4 era. Like, it's the Halo 4 Master Chief design. I love how the Elite explodes into bricks there. I've tried to, like, collate all the footage together in an order that makes sense. You can see some damage there. The Needler being fired. It's got a good tracking. I love how they drop bricks. And uh, it, it just looks so much fun. Like, even that Phantom in the background. Like, like, it's gorgeous. It's it's not just, like, a, a generic, playable, like, really early build. Like, they've got a lot of the physics ready to go. And you can see that the Chief is using a booster pack uh, to knock into uh, enemies and explode them into bricks. The jump <laughs> distance is kind of crazy. So is his boost. He's got, like, a double tap jump that can, like, boost him forward. His actual movement speed when he's running is quite slow. You can also see different ranks of elites. I imagine they all have different health. Maybe they have different abilities. Again, I would love to know more, and I would love to do a deep dive if someone could get me a lot of raw footage. We saw the shotgun being there and the two-player element. Um, you know, there are two characters, a orange scout and the Master Chief. You can even see animations. It's janky, like it's not fur like it's not finished, it's not perfect, but it's animations for assassinations. You can see AC being used there as well. Like there's so much in this game already. As far as I know, there's just this one playable level. It's kind of just like uh, an open world kind of environment, but there are some kind of missions. This animation for the assassination is cleaner. It's kind of forward unto dawn-esque how you take down a hunter and that is actually implemented into MCC now. And look at the way you just boot a grunt and it turns into bricks. That's so funny. Oh man. 
I just wish, I wish I wasn't a Mac user. I'll get to play this on la my laptop or like a friend's laptop one day. You can see interactive elements in the environment as well. I love that 2D sort of Mario scroll as well. Um, there's a lot of really fun elements. I know I keep on saying that, but like, it just looks like so much fun. It looks like something I would love to just have a mess around on. Yeah, you can see the double jump there. There's like a double jump and boost or something that I've seen him like just shoot across the map. You can also see like the heads up display is pretty similar to uh, what you have in game in some ways. Um, it's got that sort of like bluey Halo Waypoint aesthetic. I, I, I love it, I absolutely love it. The way that he's, uh, he's moving it like, Obviously, we're borrowing a lot of themes from uh, Lego Star Wars here. I mean, that is to be expected, but why not? Like, there's so much that works there. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And he's just teleported back down to there. There's a lot of um, these sort of interactive uh, ways you move around the environment that feels similar to Halo 4, you know, activating terminals and activating these little cutscenes. The fact that they even do have these, like, fully rendered cutscenes, um, it, that kind of looks like No Man's Sky to me. It's fun, it's fun, and they look... It, it's like a perfect blend between Forerunner environments and Mega Bloks. Like, they were clearly bricks that just formed together and completed that Forerunner structure. Little cutscene there, abusing grunts, that's a, a, an instant no-no. I think there's a lot of abusing grunts in this. Uh, yeah, the, oh, the way the hunter just broke through that, that facility... Oh no! <laughs> Poor Billy! Uh, yeah, they're, they're like the old style grunts, the Halo Wars style Mega Bloks grunts as well. And um, another challenge for anyone, there are available online downloadable files for the uh, sort of assets of this game. If someone was able to... Oh yeah, split screen as well, we just glossed over that. There's freaking split screen in this. But if anyone was ever able to download the assets for this game and 3D print them, I'd be very interested in getting involved with that. Uh, you can see how there's buildable barricades, like it's not just them running around the environment, it's like actually the whole environment is built of mega blocks essentially, they're building a turret there, a heavy machine gun, he's actually spending bricks that he's collected from I, I guess crates and also destroying enemies. You can see how some of the elements of the uh, environment are destructible, not many it seems, but a fair amount. Um, ah. Sign me up, I saw a car ban on the floor there, and there you can see, once you've collected bricks from around the environment, you can build actual bridges or pieces of the environment that you need, which is so creative. Um, I think that was in the Lego Hobbit game recently that I was playing uh, with the lady friend, and gosh, the way that... Uh, I just love it, I just love it. Um, Project Hey Guy is something that we nerds have been like... Uh, freaking out about for years. I know there'll be a lot of people in the comments saying they never even knew this existed because the, it, it cycles in and out of, uh, you know, relevancy every couple of years. There's always someone that brings it back up into the conversation. I, for some reason, have never made a video about it. I've always meant to, like, always aimed to, and now it's funny that I'm finally making one as the game is actually playable online. That's just really amusing, uh, the timing of that. Like, I can't believe I've never made a, a video about this, but it's, it's a playable, like, Mega Bloks game. When it was uh, in a beta, I always thought, you know, I'll make a lore video about it one day, but now it's playable and there's all these vehicles and the vehicles actually take damage as well. Like this Mega Bloks ghost is uh, straight from the assault on high ground and um, you can see it has health as well. It's got good boosting effects. Um, apparently there's some level Mint Blitz mentioned where it's like a warthog run. It's just like one long piece that you can uh, you can run through. Maybe it's this. Um, it, it feels like Halo 4 more than anything, like moving through a large environment. It'll probably be like set levels, but like moving through one large environment between like types, like kind of mini missions and small cutscenes, activating bridges, you know, turning four on a consoles online, that kind of business. There's our Scorpion that's based on, I think, the Covenant Invasion. I think that's the Convert Up Scorpion that goes against a vampire. Um, I mean, they'll all be uh, based on exact rips. That's definitely Warthog Resistance. Uh, that's the Halo 4 Warthog, guaranteed. Uh, it's, an, it's a classic iconic vehicle at this point. Um, used to be worth nothing and now starting to climb in value. There's our gold elite. Oh, <laughs> I got absolutely obliterated. Uh, winch upgrade available. Now this is one of the most badass things about this. You can see he goes to the terminal here. You can actually upgrade your vehicle. So you can do different coatings. You can add uh, different features to it. Like, I, I, yeah, there's tools 
um, weapons, paint colors, decals. There's so much you can do already. Like they've thought about, and look at that. I bet if you paused that, there's a challenge. If someone pauses the video just before on that schematic when it's being loaded in, I bet you could build it. It might be the exact same as the Warthog Resistance. It really might be. There's some of the white grunts there from the uh, original Covenant Phantom, and you can see a Covenant Barricade there. That red elite looks great. I guess we've, uh, when have we, we got a red combat elite a couple of times in Mega Bloks. Um, yeah, these are, this is based on Mega Bloks. This is before the new articulation conversion, clearly. I wonder how they would have actually dealt with that because um, I think there were plans in the main menu for like purchases in game and maybe like DLCs. Um, they probably would have never addressed it. They probably would have just stick with the old articulation for this because it, you know, it works. Also those Covenant Barricades are from sets like the AA gun. That's Project Hagar, man. Like I can't believe this is a playable demo now. It's incredible. I mean, it's something that like when a demo like that exists and it, it's, it's, the footage has been out there for like over a decade. Like it doesn't belong to any one person. Like, yeah, it does, but like it should be released to the community. It should be enjoyed by the community. And if anything, it's just going to bring more people to love Halo Megablocks and check it out. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks to all the footage. Again, if you would like to um, do some raw uncut gameplay of this, I would love to uh, then upload it to the channel and credit you. But uh, either way, have a great day. Domain signing off and um, stay tuned for in a couple of days time. I'm going to have a pretty big video addressing some of the concerns I have about, um, you know, Halo Mega releases at the minute. All right, signing off.